New questions are surfacing over Florida's newly created health survey for teens. Earlier this year, the state's education boss directed school districts to stop participating in the longstanding federal youth survey, calling it too sexualized. So Florida developed its own. Months later, still no results. Now some of the people who helped create it tell Florida 24 investigator Kate Legrone the state has gone radio silent with them too. Florida's newly created health survey for teens seems to have fallen out of sight. I think this is just a ball that has been dropped. But not out of mind. It's been enough time. Like, <laughs> I would like to see some results. Created earlier this year by Florida's Department of Education, the voluntary survey replaces the CDC's Youth Risk Behavior Survey, a biannual student questionnaire long used to chart and compare risky behavior among U.S. teens. But after Florida's education boss deemed the federal version too sexual, the department created its own and distributed it to more than a dozen Florida school districts in April. We weren't given, you know, a final product or or even told, you know, hey, this has gone out. Uh, look forward to the results or anything of that. Christy DeVigelli, a Lee County parent and advocate for parents' rights, is among 14 work group members selected to help develop Florida's new teen survey. She tells us after four meetings, which ended in March, and an email sent to the group in May, communication from the state seems to have just stopped. Our voices were no longer being heard, and the committee that we all joined that we thought we were, you know, making a difference, and it was going to be a collaborative effort between the Department of Education and parents and community members, is now, it's, it's I don't know what it is, it's non-existence anymore. <laughs> In previous interviews, other work group members also described a lack of communication from the state and an overall process that they viewed as being predetermined and pushed through quickly. It felt like the level of input that was taken from the work group was fairly minimal and that many decisions were made by some other entity outside of the work group. Work group member Caitlin Clibben with Disability Rights Florida even wrote this letter to the department in May expressing her concerns about a process that, quote, felt very rushed, and a new state survey that eliminated too many topics measuring actual youth behavior like violence, drug use, and gun exposure, instead focusing too much on character and resiliency traits, including perseverance, gratitude, and citizenship. According to the state's timeline, student results from its new survey should have been published this summer. Despite repeated emails, Florida's Education Department, which has been mired in a number of culture war controversies over new policies, has yet to respond to us with any survey updates or provide them to the people that helped them change it in the first place. We had a goal in mind, and that was to help create a youth-specific survey for the, the students of the state of Florida that was well within the confines of, of, of the law, respected the rights of parents and students, and still provided the necessary data to all of those entities out there that need and use that data. Now we just need the follow-through. We need to see those results. While this voluntary survey went out to select school districts in April, the state has not said which schools received them, and it's refusing to tell us. Instead, saying that information is protected from the public under trade secrets. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.